What's up guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, recently I was out flying in the playground and if you've been watching my latest videos, you know that I really wanna start pushing myself a little bit more. And it was a really windy day, probably 20, 25 mile an hour winds. And I was trying to push myself, go a little bit faster than I was really comfortable with. Um, you know, the turns were getting a little bit tight. I was definitely shaking a little bit because I was nervous. Um, I need to work on those nerves. Just get rid of them. It's okay if I crash. Um, anyway, about two or three minutes into flying this session, a rock jumped out of nowhere right in front of my quad and uh, it slammed right into the front motor. Um, it was actually this motor here, right here in the front left. And it just bent the hell out of the base of this motor. Um, anyway, I decided to put it back together, throw on some new props, uh, try out this new mount I have uh, for the GoPro and see if they still work. I mean, it's pretty jacked up, but maybe it'll still fly all right. So I figured I'd just do it in the backyard real quick so that if the motor doesn't work, I can go downstairs and replace it. But uh, you know, let's see how a jacked up motor does. Let's try it out. Well, that sucks. The camera's blacking out as I fly. Um, let's try it one more time. All right, so that was a bit unexpected. Uh, the motor actually works great, you know, jacked up and all, but the uh, the video does not. I had a lot of wavy lines when I was flying the second time. Uh, the video cut out twice on me. That's just a, a real big bummer. Um, anyway, I'm gonna start breaking things apart, see if it's the camera, see if it's the VTX, see if it's the PDB, uh, see if I can get to the bottom of it and get this thing back flying again. Uh, one thing I'll say is I love these racecraft props. They are my new favorite props. The 5040 Tri-Blade Racecraft. This will probably be my new uh, GOP2 prop. Let's figure this out. All right, so later in the evening, I was able to get this quad opened up and take a look to see what was going on. Why were we losing signal? Um, at first, I was scared that maybe something inside the camera had broken, kind of because of my past experience with cameras. Um, but it turns out it wasn't that at all. Instead, it looks like what happened is in the crash, um, the wire actually started to break for the video going into the video transmitter. Um, and as I was flying, it actually broke off completely. That's why there was no more video. Um, anyway, I decided to use this chance to install my 8KK switchable uh, video transmitter in here, something I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, I used to run a 600 milliwatt transmitter, and the problem with that is that, you know, I can't really fly around other people at 600 milliwatts. So with a switchable, I can run 600 milliwatts when I'm by myself, and I can switch it to 200 when I'm with others. So, uh, you know, I, making uh, lemonade out of lemons, as I say, right? So I took the chance to do that, got everything hooked up. Um, I then fired it up, made sure I could see myself through it. Everything was working great. So anyway, now we're back outside after we got some daylight again. It snowed a little bit, but there's some daylight. And we're gonna do some more testing, just flying around the backyard, making sure we have constant video signal, making sure this motor that's completely jacked up keeps flying like we expect, uh, which is amazingly well, given just how hard it hit that uh, rock. You know, I'm really impressed so far with the durability. If it puts up to this test, way to go Emacs. I'm really impressed. 
Uh, the second thing I did is I hated that uh, GoPro camera mount that I had. I wound up cutting it off, cutting it up, throwing it out in the trash, and printed out a brand new one on my 3D printer. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this one yet either because it sits really far back on the copter um, and doesn't leave a whole lot of room for the battery. So it looks like the battery will actually get ejected pretty easily. I'll probably try to find something a little bit better for the QAV210 to mount my GoPro. Um, I have a few other ideas, but I'm trying this one now. We'll, we'll see how it does. Anyway, let's uh, fly it around, make sure that everything keeps flying smooth, and uh, let's see. The flight actually worked really great. Um, it, there's a few issues I noticed. It doesn't fly quite as smooth. It seems to have more constant low end power than it used to for some reason. It's probably compensating for something, but uh, anyway, you know what? It flew really smooth. Even with this motor, even with the bent bottom plate, even with the nicks and scratches and kinks and everything, it just flies really well. I'm really impressed with uh, these Emacs motors and how durable they've been. Um, I'm just really impressed. So I thought I'd have to replace a motor. In the end, I don't have to. Um, it's just good job. I'll probably end up replacing this mount, like I said, but so be it. Um, good job, Emacs. I'm impressed. Let me know what your experience has been with your red bottom motors, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.